in a little. Kejriwal is the same man who announced himself as an aam aadmi. And for months, he has decided that he was going to blatantly ignore the summons from a constitutional agency. And by the way, the ED conviction rate for PMLA cases is 95%. So this isn't some political witch hunt. And an aam aadmi respects the law of the land, doesn't he? Navika, let me also tell you, is this not the same aam aadmi party that arrested a Congress MLA six months ago on a case that the Supreme Court had itself squashed? And the Congress MLA was arrested based on investigations carried out by ED. Then AAP said, let law take its own course. And here it is not willing to make the same exception. Now, I want to give you two reasons that will always differentiate between what the fact is and what the hearsay is. Number one, for all those who say that the ED is using draconian provisions, let me inform them that each and every provision has been vetted by the Supreme Court three-judge bench and not only ratified, but also underlined and stamped. For example, reverse burden of proof is to stay. It is not mandated to give ECIR. Bail to be made extremely stringent. Money laundering is to be considered as a heinous as terrorism. Attachment of property is to be allowed. Statements made to ED are to be made admissible. These are the facts. Number two, is it not also a fact that the Supreme Court order of two months ago pertained to the excise case and the Supreme Court said the excess amount of 7% commission earned by the wholesale distributors of 338 crores constitute an offense as defined under Section 7 of the POC Act. The fact of the matter is these are proceeds of crimes uncourt. Finally, I want to say this at every step of the way. Yes, you might say ED is an arm of the government. You might be justified in saying so. But the fact of the matter is when you accuse Modi government, are you accusing the judiciary? Because every step of the way, every inch of the crawling where ED has summoned not one, twice, but nine times. And today also in the high court, the court has been adjudicating on this matter. The court has been keeping a keen eye on this. So unless you say that Modi might be corrupt.